Dozens of police officers rushed to Ryder Trauma Center to be with their colleague who incredibly survived after being shot repeatedly in the upper and lower torso. The police director described his survival as miraculous. That the officer that is laying in that bed behind us today was born again because at close range, he was able to survive multiple gunshot wounds. The wounded officer, Manuel Gonzalez, a seven-year veteran, married two young kids. A detective, a devoted husband and father, the director said. Born again, um, you know, God was with him. The, you know, I, I just cannot emphasize that enough um, while working and off duty, you know, trying to make a little extra money for the holidays for his family. Perez became emotional as he talked about the wounded officer's wife, a school teacher who wore a holy guacamole t-shirt to class today. They asked her why she wore that and she said because it was going to be a great day. It was a great day. It was a great day for us. All right, uh, we had some technical issues there at the top. So uh, let me explain what I was about to explain earlier. You see that squad car over there, uh, the one with the crime scene investigator standing around it? This officer was so bloodied, looked in such bad shape when the first officer arrived on the scene that he simply put him in that squad car and raced him here to Ryder Trauma Center. And as we speak, uh, that vehicle remains a part of this investigation just a few minutes ago. They removed yellow crime scene tape that surrounded it so that the uh, crime scene technicians could take photographs of it. Officer Gonzalez is upstairs at Ryder Trauma Center. We are told laughing, joking with his family, but someone very close to the officer tells us it probably hasn't hit him quite yet just how bad an experience, how near a miss he had. We're live in Miami, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Thank you very much, Gary. And we'll